the form of dark care that the dark occultists practice, meaning they have a form of unification within them and amongst them. What they care about and the ways that they think about people and about the world, they act upon. So therefore, they exist in a form of unity consciousness, albeit evil, albeit extraordinarily dark and twisted. But nature as a whole will respect unity over division. And I've said this before many times, and people can't stand to hear it. They hate it. They don't want to hear it. It's true. The reason we're getting our rear ends handed to us in this battle is because we're not unified. Most of all, not only are we not unified with each other and we're not on the same page as far as our knowledge goes and our will to act goes, we're not even unified within ourselves. We think one thing and feel a certain way and then we act in complete contradiction or opposition to that as individuals. Oh, I I hate what's being done with uh, the tax money that people spend. It's going off to war, but I'm going to continue to pay taxes, pay into the tax system because I'm afraid of the twisted psychopaths who may come after me if I don't do it. Until people stop supporting this system, it will continue to enslave them. The end. The end. We have to find the will not to comply And that's what real care is. That's what real enlightenment is. That's what wisdom is. Image number 26 shows that even the wings of this owl are shown in the street system, just tracing some of the streets in the immediate vicinity around the Capitol building. We'll get you the owl with its wings outstretched. Image 27 shows you the overall position of this owl. It is seated atop a 13-level pyramid. There are 13 streets in this pyramid system that extends below the Capitol building that I have outlined. Verify this for yourself. Just go on Google Earth and verify it for yourself. Okay? Now, inside that pyramid, in the middle, running vertically down the middle of it, is known as the National Mall. Now, beneath this, I don't have a wider angle shot of that. Actually, I do, but it's in the last slide, which we'll get to. But if you looked at a wider angle shot of this, this pyramid, okay, you would see that directly below that pyramid is the Washington Monument area. And that is where the, the male energy is being directed, again, from that phallic symbol that we saw starting at the Um, the Lincoln Memorial. Now, when people gather in Washington, D.C., they gather in front of that phallic symbol and the Washington Monument representing the ejection of male energy or seed from that phallic symbol. Okay? So, what they are symbolically representing is the semen. Okay, they're symbolically representing sperm in that mall. Okay, and that mall is like the fallopian tubes, or it is, it is not the fallopian tubes, it is like the vaginal canal. Okay, making their way to the place where the egg is at for union or congress between the masculine and feminine, which produces birth or creation. So this L is the feminine symbol. Now, which one is being served? Is it the dark feminine force represented by the L, or is it the positive feminine force represented by the dove, which is symbolically represented by the statue atop the feminine symbol of the breast, the Congress building, the Capitol building? Okay. I think we all know how this symbolism is being used. It's not in a positive way. What happens to most of the sperm? Actually, all of them except one. They die. They don't make it to their destination. The people who are petitioning their so-called leaders, begging them, which is what petition means, comes from Latin. 
okay, are lambs to the slaughter. They don't understand their sovereignty, that no one has authority over them, that there is no one between them and the divine creator. You don't need to ask anybody permission. You don't need to fill out any paperwork. You need to claim your sovereignty and then be willing to defend it. And that's it. Period. I don't need to fill out any forms. I don't need to abide by the laws of man. I only need to abide by the laws of nature, of natural law. That's it. The laws of man are indeed beneath me. I do not understand them. I overstand them. Because I'm sovereign under the creator. And no man is above me. Therefore, no laws made by man are above me. Only God's law is above me. And I'm okay with using that name. That word. People don't like that word. Oh well, get over it. Explain to me how the universe got here when you want to tell me that there is not, no force of creation that's higher than man. When you could do that and then maybe you can reproduce it, then we'll talk about your uncomfortableness with the word God. So, we're seeing an act, a sex act here, played out, where all of the energy is actually wasted. Okay? Nobody's really making it to the destination. They're simply burning out their energy. All of the seeds that are there in the National Mall, begging their owners, please, owner, Please, Master, don't beat me seven days a week. Beat me two days a week instead. That's what people who believe in the petitioning of government are like. And I'm sorry if you think those words are harsh. That's the truth. If we continue to look at the imagery above, the symbolism that is embedded in the street system above, the Congress building, it becomes even more interesting. So directly in line, in this west to east line, this power line that we're talking about here in Washington, D.C., which we're going to see a wide angle view of in the next slide, we see the chalice and the blade united. The seal of Solomon. Some know it as the star of David. Okay? But this ultimately represents the masculine energy and the feminine energy united, and it's pointing directly at the Congress building. Again, the sacred marriage, the chemical wedding, the divine union, it's been called many, many things. But it represents action being united with emotion in an act of will. And that's what's supposed to be occurring at that Congress building, but in fact, there is no political will there. There is only corruption and machinations being plotted and people who are on the take, people who only care about themselves, even in a cursory way, not in a real genuine way. They just worship the dollar bill. That's it. They worship Bill. That's their God. That's the God of all the people who have fallen into the whole trap of materialism in the modern world. That's their God, money, the fake form of it, no less, which isn't even worth the paper it's printed on, and yet it has become their God and ruled every aspect of their lives, and they don't think that they themselves are slaves? You have to laugh, because if you don't, it's so sad it'll make you cry. We'll be right back on What on Earth Has Happened, folks. Don't go anywhere. Last segment here on What on Earth is Happening on this June 5th, 2011 edition. I'm your host, Mark Passio. My website, whatonearthishappening.com. We're going to wrap up occult symbolism in architecture and tree plans. I could go on and on and on and on about this. This is a cursory examination of this principle of geomancy. 
There is so much more to it. This is a very abbreviated version of how these occultists use these principles in architecture. I encourage people to look at this on their own, to find resources that look into geomancy. I'll try to post a few with the podcast to understand how this form of energy flow works. And I'm going to lay out the big tree plan of DC here in the last slide, in slide number 29 on the radio show page of what on earth is happening dot com. Here we see again what looks to be a complex arrangement of imagery nested ne- nested within the street plan of Washington DC. But if we know how to decode it, we know what's being said here. The Lincoln Memorial lies at the base of the phallic symbol at the westernmost se- section of this image, which would be at the bottom to the uh, left side of the Potomac across from the Pentagon. They're on the right-hand side. Okay, This is the symbolic New World Order priest king seated on his throne having power over church and state, over the physical and spiritual worlds through mind control. He rules government, he rules religion, and has formed this New World Order based on the mechanisms of control of both of these forms of mind control. Okay? The phallic symbol is above that, ending in the male energy coming out of that phallus at the Washington Monument. Okay? Which itself is a variant on the phallus, the phallic symbol. Okay? The very bottom of that image is the base chakra. Okay? at the very base of the spine. The sexual or sacrum chakra, the genital chakra, is where the Washington Monument and the ellipse or feminine egg is at. We move farther east, meaning higher in the chakra system. Okay, We come to the Congress building after we get out of that pyramid The climb of the pyramid represents willpower to climb the pyramid. Okay? It represents the solar plexus chakra, the will center. Okay? When we get to the Congress building, that's the place of union. This would be the heart chakra. It's the center. And you see the the physical world of that pyramid and then the divine world of the inverted pyramid or inverted triangle the spirit world coming down into the being and uniting in the heart chakra. Okay, The true heart chakra or true congress depicted by the dove or Columbia, which is at the top of the uh, Capitol building. Instead, we see the dark form of care, the predatory bird that each true care keeps us identified only with the lower self This is the owl, and it surrounds the Congress building. Above that, symbols of the all-seeing eye, the unification of left and right brain hemisphere, and the opening of the third eye, represented by the seal of Solomon, the chalice and blade united, above the Congress building, culminating in a place that I've outlined in yellow there called Lincoln Park. Now, this is a resonator with Lincoln, and it is in direct, line, alignment on this line of power, which incidentally is the 38th parallel. And again, in Gematria, you put those together, that's the number 11. Another favorite number of the occultists. This is on the 38th parallel. Okay, This is definitely a geomantic power line. And this is why this is the place of activity with all of this symbolism in Washington, D.C. Now that chamber, okay, symbolically It's a chamber of the pyramid, the larger pyramid that you see above. This would be representative of the king's chamber, the place of resurrection and rebirth in the Great Pyramid. And it's connected with Lincoln Park. Again, we saw how Lincoln is symbolically, through the statue in the Lincoln Memorial, their king. But now you're going up from a place of base consciousness, the base chakra. See, if people are bowing to that king, they're facing west. If they're before the Lincoln Memorial, they're facing west, 
which means they're in the lowest form of consciousness, the base chakra. They're appealing to the authority of man. If we're moving in the other direction, we're going more toward the spiritual realm when we have united ourselves in an act of Congress and we have opened the third eye through the balancing of the brain hemispheres. And this is what spiritual res resurrection is all about. Hence, the king's chamber of that pyramid being Lincoln Park. Again, resonator with the king. And Lincoln was assassinated, as was John F. Kennedy. You have heard all about the correspondences between those assassinations. These were two ritualistic killings of kings by the dark occultists. That's what these rituals were actually referred to as the killing of the king. It's symbolic of the death of Osiris, once again. Okay? The phallic symbol being a symbol of Osiris. Not having the will, integrating the willpower to ascend in consciousness to the light. Now, we finally come at the very top of this inverted triangle representing the spiritual domain. Uniting with the physical domain, that bottom pyramid, okay? At the very top of this chalice, the sacred feminine chalice, the holy grail, is the lamp of illumination. The torch, with the ring of power in it, or the all-seeing eye inside of it. This is a sports stadium, but if you look at the actual street plan directly around it, I've simply outlined it, okay? It is in the shape, indeed, of a torch. Now, this is the crown chakra. This is the end of the spiritual journey. The kundalini energy has risen from the base chakra to the crown. The person is fully illuminated. They understand that they are sovereign. They understand that there is no one above them except the true divine creator of the universe. And until anybody can prove to me to sufficient satisfaction that that's who they are, I bow